Potential season-defining spell, both in the league and in Europe for both teams. And Billy Burns gets us underway at the Kingspan. And Jared Evans. Williams at half-back, so expect a good drive on this one. Turnbull, here goes Nick Williams, got a stop, well over 20 stones there. And Ulster doing well. Oh, no. Lloyd Williams, and it is another one of those big men, it's Manoa. Twice Northampton Saints Player of the Year. What a spell he had at Franklin's Gardens, the American international from California. And they're getting very close to this Ulster line, the Release Blues. Whites. Ulster did a lot of desperate last-ditch defending last week against the Scarlets, yes, but they're out. not going to be able to stop Matthew Morgan, who's had so many involvements in this opening nine minutes of this game, and now this involvement leads to the ultimate, a try for the Blues. Against the Blues, they scored four tries in 37 minutes. They could have had six, 17 line breaks in total against the Blues, it's and it's Kutsia who picks the ball off the turf and gives it to Sean Reedy. He was really pugnacious in the back row for Ulster last week against the Scarlet side. Not roll. rolling away he the Blues. McCluskey goes quickly. They've got to let him go 10. In comes Nick Williams with knee. the tackle. Off his knee. Well was on the shoulder. And Stuart Berry says play on. And Stuart Berry's going to go to the TMO. The question is, was there an infringement there in the build-up? to what at the moment is being declared as a try, but the TMO, I suspect, yep. may yeah, need so a long it's look. Curious to whether it's well, a it's Trevor Lillis scored this, an amazing finish. My, sure, no problem. Whether he's knocked it on or he's Go come off his knee, off knee from the pass from McCroskey, but what control okay, in these conditions now. from the big one. He, he was shaking his head coming back, but he was smiling, so was, yeah, yeah, it's, it's hard to know what he's getting at. Let's have a look, it's a good lazy offload. That's off his shin, that's fine. It's just whether he regathers this ball cleanly, which he does. That's brilliant skills, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, very good finish. Stuart, yes. I have a decision. You may award the try. Oh, fantastic you. stuff from Kieran Treadwell. Yeah, they knew these guys. Who's right? in, who's in the Remember the Scottish move in November in when Hamish Watson came on, clean please. through a line out to score a try. What happens here? Well, it goes more traditionally to Seb Davis, but there's plenty of players in there to add some bulk and weight now because backs and forwards combine. There's only three Cardiff Blues players to the left. Away from this morass of blue and That's white shirts stop. all honey potted together can they drive right, right, right. the line and get there right. oh yes no they w can right. it's christian dacy who comes up with the ball after the added torque to that driving mall provided by the backs the move works except here you go yeah, okay. I know if he dropped Thanks. his right down. So, yeah, let me just tell you what I'm saying. Yeah, arguably, um, it's uh, not as though the ball Kane's is even close, the ball is gone. On the it's rock a cheap shot, would have sold it to the guy's ball, back, I'm thinking yellow card. I agree. Thank you. Number four. He's thinking yellow card. Leo, just give us a mark for the restart. Yeah. Let me just explain it to you. No, no, let me. The ball's gone. The guy's, no, no, hang on. The ball's gone. It's a cheap shot to the back. It's not right. Thank you. Could be a big game-changing moment. Cardiff now having to survive for 10 minutes without a very important cog in there. Right, Pack and Seb Davis. Where's your mark, Corey? I'll take that one, uh, They decide to progress from here. It's the forwards again. Rory Best. Blue release. Blue's been told to release. 18. And this time, in another attempt to steal, Dylan Lewis doesn't do what he's told by the referee. I think Cardiff are, are, are hanging in here, really. I think they've been fairly illegal a few rocks in a row there. Guys are coming off their feet and just being a little bit slow to roll away. Nick Williams, um, that has a big effect on the pace of the ball coming out because it can't be played for a second or two until he rolls away. And, uh, yeah, I think that's fair enough um, penalty there. And if, if it ha that had kept going, we could be looking... If there hadn't just been a yellow card, we could be looking at seeing someone else go to the bin. I, I think it's one of those situations as well with the Cardiff Blues. Yes, you're going to go behind, but... It felt as if they were going to concede five, seven points there. So just to come away conceding three, probably the lesser of two evils. So Ulster really got their tails up here. Really need to kill the clock and game manage now the Cardiff Blues while they're down to four. Big decision. Again, though, great scramble defence. Just I think they'd be a little bit disappointed looking back at this game, Ulster, Andrew. They haven't been able to cut the line. They've had plenty of ball, just lacked a little bit of cutting edge and a little bit of X factor. Former Heineken Cup winner, John Cooney, with Leinster.
It was against Ulster, actually. He was on the bench that day, 2012. And now helping Ulster, who will he and Ulster hope will be a path to victory against the Blues. Crouch! Binds! Six! So this is it for the Blues. Need a good scrum, they've got it. Seb Davis to Thomas Williams. Jared Evans, short line and looking for the off the road. Line Ulster off. just needed to get a boot to that and somehow get it across the touchline. And Ulster have got the ball. It's the, it's the hero against New Zealand. Who's the hero against the Cardiff Blues on the final whistle. Jacob Stockdale with the turnover. That should win the game for Ulster. Yeah, the two world beaters, Rory Best and Jacob Stockdale, coming on and making a big impression at the end and getting that game across the line. Uh, big impact from both those fellas tonight. Well, it's Ulster who have held on here to win by 16 points to 12. That late penalty from John Cooney that extended the lead out to four points.